Hello everyone, I am Terra the Fox, and let's play Mystery Legends, The Phantom of the Opera. Now, this type of game is pretty much just a very puzzle game, a very casual puzzle game. Nothing really too difficult. Uh, but things are going to be a little bit different if I choose to continue playing these type of games. Because um, these games are really, really really short and I actually don't mind having a problem playing them but it just kind of feels silly to play an hour long puzzle game and I don't know it just felt a little bit weird and seems a little bit odd so what I'm thinking is I'm going to reduce them from my hour long time to just 30 minutes but the trade-off for that is I'm going to have the uh, episodes upload uh, back to back to back. So instead of my usual time of Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, uh, whenever I choose to upload this game, I'll upload it every single day. So if it starts on Monday, I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and however long it takes. Because these kind of types of games, some people do kind of look up the YouTube tutorials and see how this kind of works. And I kind of want to like give it like a decent length so people are not waiting forever in a day trying to find one freaking puzzle. I mean, I think 30 minutes is probably long enough in that retrospect. Not that I expect anyone to look up my tutorials or anything like that. Or my videos as tutorials, but you never know. You never know. Um, maybe like... The makers of the game could have like a huge sell or release this somewhere and people are like, Oh, I want to play this, but I don't know how to play, and they can pick this up. I don't, know. I don't know. YouTube works in mysterious ways, and you get people from mysterious ways, so who knows. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So if you're used to the hour long and you wish for the hour long, well, I do apologize in advance, but I kind of think this system would work better if that was the case. So, from here on, for, so from this LP onward, or just this LP in general, uh, I will just be doing 30 minutes. It's a, an hour long. Well, with that said, today we are playing the Phantom of the Opera! Ooh, spooky! Phantoms and an opera? Oh my god, no way. Uh, loosely inspired by the, um, the Phantom of the Opera. I'm not sure if it's based upon the movie or the book. I'm not sure which. It does bring some elements into play here, but it's also not really based on any of them, as far as I can tell. So I'm not too sure which is which. It just has the title of the Phantom of the Opera, okay? But here we have our extras. We can look around. We can get scores for the game. Uh, there's a bonus game. Uh, if you get the collector's edition of this game, you get a bonus area. Uh, you don't- it's not mandatory. Some games it is mandatory because it explains more about the story. Uh, others not really. It's just like a little fun er teaser area. Just have fun with. Which I do consider this one kind of like just a nice little teaser area. And over here you can actually read the original novel. That's pretty cool, you can actually read it. Go through the chapters, blah 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 blah, but I'm not gonna make you sit and read this, come on. This isn't, this isn't let's read, this is let's play! Let's play! Speaking of playing, let us play. And here we have our name. And since we go by Tear of the Fox, might as well enter that. And this doesn't change any character's names, it's just literally a profile that you make. So, with that accepted, let us begin. Did you enjoy the play of Lena? I loved it. Oh, what was it like when you were performing? Your mother was magnificent. She captivated the hearts of all Parisians with her performances. Raoul, my dear, those days are a distant memory. Excuse me, miss? A gentleman asked to be delivered to you. What do you have there? Is this for me? What is it, Evelina? 
Who is it from, dear? It looks like an invitation, but I'm not sure who it's from. My love, the stage has been set once more. I bid thee to return to my opera house and reprise the role meant for you in one final performance. Welcome back, my love. Oh, how long I have waited for this day. This time, I will make you love me. This time, you won't. Bring me the black roses hidden within this house, and I will show you everything you have forgotten. What is this place? Am I trapped here? I need to find a way out. Huh. So we were just hanging out with our parents and god damn it, skip the tutorial. Get out of here! God, the tutorial's trying to tell me how to play. God, I know how to play. But anyway, yeah, we were just hanging out with our mom and dad and bada bing bada boom, we're here, baby. And this creepy ass hell 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 what the hell? Don Juan? Where the fuck is Don Juan? But over here we have a little journal. Nice little area where it gives us a little bit of information. It also holds um, pictures and some information to how to solve puzzles. Cheer squeaking. But anyway, let us read the first few entries. Where am I? My parents and I had just finished watching the play, and we were on our way to dinner when I was stopped by a little boy. He ha handed me an invitation and now is suddenly in some old creepy building. Is this some sort of a bad dream? Why are all the exits barricaded? This place looks like an opera house, but it feels like no one has been here for a very long time. Wait, does that curtain say Don Juan on it? That was the name on the invitation! Oh, we were invited by Don Juan it seems. So that's who Don Juan is. But if you go over here, we get a little selection of paper that says map and we are introduced to all the areas we shall be exploring so let's exit out and there's some stuff we can interact with such as this How could you leave me? um hello I feel dizzy but I dare not lie down and if you go over here he keeps sparkling so let's investigate what a horrible puppet. His face has been disfigured. And his hand is sparkling as well. And normally when it sparkles, it means there's something of interest for you to do there. I'm not sure what he wants. And if you read it in the journal, he just magically pops up, indicating that you need to do something with him. What a disturbing puppet. He's holding out his hand like he wants something. Aha. So he needs something from us, but... Fortunately, we have nothing. Nothing going on for us. But hey, look! There's a flashlight! That is mine. And let's look at that. A chandelier crash. And let's look at this. The bloody Don Juan. I am a sort of Don Juan. Wait, you're sort of Don Juan? But it was Don Juan who invited us. Seriously, are you Don Juan or not? Is this Don Juan? Is this weird guy Don Juan? I don't know. Anyway, let's look at this newspaper. Chandelier Crest kills woman. Has the opera ghost struck again? This newspaper speculates about the phantom who haunts Paris Opera House. My mother told me of strange happenings at the opera house where she once performed. I wonder if it's the same place. And here we are, we get a little bit about uh, Don Juan. And for some reason, this gets circled in. March 25th, 1896. Someone has defaced this poor poster of Faust. Or Faust. God, I don't remember how that name was properly pronounced. It's been t over 10 years since I heard that name, so. Anyway, Don Juan again. That can't possibly be mere coincidence. 1896? That was ages ago. Yeah, that, that was. Anyway. I we... love you. Ugh, let's hide in the coat closet. And it's 
dark as fuck in here. I don't appreciate it. Luckily, we have a flashlight. <laughs> and we get a new objective: restore power to the opera house. And once we open the box, we get the power fuse. I wonder what I'm supposed to make of this. And within the power fuse, we have a little puzzle to solve. If you notice, we have one through eight on top here, and we have switches. We need to flip the switches in the correct order, and the way you do that is follow the rope, pretty much. Here we are. Number one. And so, and there's number two, and you go on and so forth. I won't be using my mouse to uh, follow them because I get, actually get distracted that way. But uh, a little interesting fact is if you s flip any of the switches incorrectly, they will all shut off and you have to restart again. So be mindful of that. Oh, six, and seven. Oh, I lost seven. What happened? There we go. Seven and eight. There we go. With that, we light it up. And we got a note from it. At first I thought I was the only one here, but maybe I am wrong. I swear I heard someone laughing just now. Could this place be haunted? On the bright side, at least I managed to get the lights back on. Yeah, that that is a plus. Oh. There's a light bulb we can acquire. Acquire. The Paris Opera House. That's where my mother performed. Look! Look at all these coats! The coats look worn out. Eh, yeah. Everything looks crappy and shitty here. I don't know why we're here. Where are the paintings? Mm, good question. And I believe that's everything in there, so we shall leave. And if we head back over here, this lights up. Maybe I can find something useful in here. And here we have our search puzzle. Uh, this game has a lot of these. Uh, I kind of contemplated on how I wanted this to get be done. Um, I'm normally fairly fast at this, though, so... Like, at first I was planning on uh, speeding this up, but... I'm fairly fast at this that it's kind of seems pointless and you guys won't be able to see what uh, I'm picking up and... what has been crossed off the list, so... Eh. I think the only time I will speed it up is if I'm taking a really long time, like, noticeably a long time. Then... Then... Well, not only then will I speed it up, but for the most part, that didn't take too long. And so, we have acquired a ticket, and he seems to want it, so let's give it to him. Welcome to my opera house. Welcome to your destiny. The time has come to be reunited with your angel of music. Do you remember our last meeting? Let me show you. I had reached the depths of my despair. It was all over. The shadow of my death drew near. You were the light in the darkness of my existence. I was your angel of music. But you chose him. You left me. All was lost. The time had come to end it. My house would burn, but my spirit would not rest. One day, God willing, I would have my revenge. Oh, so it's his ghost that's haunting us. Huh. That's interesting. Here we have a little bit more dialogue. What was that? Wait. Was that the opera ghost? He called me Christine, but that's my mother's name. My mind was flooded with memories, but they were not my own. I saw my mother and father running. The opera house was burning. I felt torment and pain. I don't know why he showed me this. I don't know what any of it means, but I do know that I have to get out of here. Hell yeah, we need to get the hustle hustle. Welcome to my opera house. Who are you? 
Where am I? I am your angel of music. I am the Phantom of the Opera. Come to me. No! <laughs> anyway, here we have this little section of the house, but unfortunately, we can't cross it because the icy floor is too dangerous to walk on. We need to find a way across the ice. You will never leave this place. Oh yeah? Just watch me, buddy. I'll leave this place and you'll see. You'll be eating my dust with how fast I'm out of here. Anyway, if you look on the left-hand side, there's a painting. Symphony of Fire. If this is an advertisement for a play, then it's one that I have never heard of before. And that's pretty much it for this area, so let's head on to the right side. Get a nice little hallway here, but look! This titty chick is showing up, has something in her hand. We want it. It's a crest fragment. Nice. So let us enter the dining salon. And it is a mess. I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at this. Who made the mess? But oh, there's something on the table. And it's a chess piece. The Black Knight. And if you move over here, there's a chair. And then there's a vase. Or urn. Whichever or. And you can interact with this uh, picture. Painting. Vladimir Borkov. I have no idea if that's significant to anything, so whatever. And you can also interact with these as well. It feels as though they are watching me. Huh. Oh, and you also can interact with the wreckage in this place. What caused all this damage? Like, who did this? Who lives like this? Come on now, pick off after yourself. I mean, there's spiders, come on. Come on, there, there, there's, there's just, just no way to live, buddy. No way to live. But, as you can see in the middle, there's something sparkling. And here we have dates. Those, the mantle seems a bit bare. I wonder what these dates mean. But hey, there's a black rose! A black rose! I want the black rose! I want it! A black rose! I wonder if I can open this. Yes, you can! I want the rose! Ugh. Makes me sad I can't get the black rose. But, once we investigate the mantle, this becomes available to us. And once more, it's another, a, um, search game. Get rid of plate. That doesn't sound at all familiar, but first things first, there's an urn right there, and I know you always get it. Hey, a wallet. Somebody's leaving their wallets around. <laughs> I hope there's no money in it. <laughs> uh. Walking cane, right there. A marble, right over there. Clock, looks like a dude, like Clocksworth from Beauty and the Beast. There's a lock, and a picture of a wagon. Very important to know. Oh, and the best thing about the the search, in, search games is that if you click on the name on the left hand side, it shows a picture. One thing I really like about that game, very nice. So in case it's like something I don't know what it is, it'll give you a silhouette of it. So very, very nice. I appreciate that game. Very, very appreciative. And a pearl right over here. And if you get stuck on one of the uh, items that you search for, you can simply click on the mirror to get a hint. And it will show you where the location of it is. It looks like this goes on the mantle. I should find the others. And as you can see, the hit mirror is being restored, so you can't really abuse it that much. But that's okay, we don't need to use it that much, really. But hey, who's this picture of? Is that my mother? All of Paris will feel my wrath. Really? It can reach that far? Damn, dude, it's amazing. There's a painting of my mother hanging in the hallway. I must be in the Paris Opera House, the very place where she used to perform. Why else would this painting be here? We look so alike. At first, I almost thought, I almost thought it was a picture of me. Yeah, Evelina and Christine apparently look fairly similar to each other. But hey, there's another urn on the table. Don't forget that. Hey, there's a door. 
Hey, here's annoying locks I hate. Ugh, I do not like these puzzles. They're just kind of time wasters in my personal opinion. Oh, in case you haven't guessed, it's just clicking on the right the right ones. Whoops. Yeah, clicking on the right ones in the correct order. Darn it. Voila. The managers were fools. They thought they could disobey me. I showed them just how real my cruelty could be. Hmm. So you are an asshole. Okay, good to know. More reason to get the hell out of here. Anyway, here's a table. What an elaborate contraption. And as you can guess, there's some chess pieces right here. We only have one of the four pieces, so we'll hold off for now. But if we head over here. There's no there's not enough light to search here. And so you go to the elephant, remove the lid, and give it a light bulb. And that gives us an area to search around for. Here's a stapler. Bow tie. Bow tie right over there. Spectacles. Spectacles. I don't think so. Spectacles. Well, for the things first, there's a crest right there. I'm not gonna ponder on that for too long. Ashtray right over there. Ugh. Smoking back in this day and age? Come on now. Not that they knew any better, but that's okay. That's a bonbon. What the hell is a bonbon? I am dead serious. What the hell is a bonbon? Mandoline. That's right over there. Fern. Ah, fern right there. Blueprint right there. Nice big ol' fan. Was that back available back in the days? That looks too elaborate to me. That fan. Hmm. Hey, roll money! We're rich! We're rich! <laughs> Hope nobody's gonna need this. <laughs> of course, it's useless to us if we can't leave. <clears throat> Come on, these are spectacles. Thank you. I don't know what the bonbon is. Oh, is that a piece of candy? A shattered crest fragment. That's a little weird. But hey, this one's sparkling. It's an advertisement for something called the Green Fairy. I wonder why it's called the Green Fairy. And here's a clock right here. We're not going to interact with it right now. And here we are in this room. And let's move this painting and acquire this. We get a symbol card. And here's a door, but it requires a lock, so we'll hold off. I gave you my music. I gave you everything. Yeah, you're still kind of creepy, though. That's kind of an issue. I don't know if you're aware of that. But anyway, here's a grandfather clock. The clock has stopped working. And the hands are stuck at 920. The clock must be broken. The hands are frozen at 920. And so if you go back here to this clock and change the time to 920, this bird gives you a key. How thoughtful. A key to enter the library. Excuse me. Thank you. And there's actually quite a few things to do in here. First off, on the right hand side, there's a pair of candles. Click on the one that doesn't look very well lit. And you get a chess piece. Then on the far left, on this little book right here, open it up and it's a story about Egyptian gods. <sighs> yeah. I hate this puzzle. This puzzle we'll get later on, but I hate this puzzle. Well, I'll read it later too, so. But anyway. Here's the canopic jar that has to do with the Egyptian puzzle. That I absolutely freaking hate. And let's investigate this. There are books! One of them says John Juan! How nice! 
Unfortunately, it's a puzzle, and we need two more books. But, after investigating that, this also becomes available to us. Let's see, propeller, book three, you know that for sure is right over there. Skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones. I have no idea where that is. But there's a pin! I want a pin! Gotta find a pin! Is that a pin? Indeed it is! <laughs> Trolley car right over there. Hyper wrench. Hyper wrench. Huh. Oh, right over here. I see it. Taurus, he's part of a shadow. Light bulb right up here. Get a gear. Gear. Right over here. Perfume bottle. Some perfume. A perfume I'm finding a very hard time finding. But there's a lunchbox right here. Oh, okay, I didn't think so. Saturn! There are many, many planets here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff I actually am having a hard time finding. Saturn! Come here, Saturn! Ugh. I don't know where Saturn is. I see Jupiter and I see Mars, but I don't see Saturn. Ugh, everybody's probably found it already. That makes me so sad. Oh, there's crossbones right there. Let's see, Pihum. I just need one more. And then I'll use the last for the mirror. There's Saturn! Alright, where's the perfume? Ah, right there. Hiding very well, actually. This yes. must be one of the missing books. Indeed it is, but we'll hold on to it for now. No need to give it into the thing. But hey, we can investigate this. This plant looks rather wilted. Hmm. Hey, we got a sandbag. Nice. And if we look at this dude, I wonder what he's trying to play. The statue's fingers are carefully positioned over the flute, as if in preparation to play a song. Now this is a hint to a puzzle, but it's like near the end of the game puzzle, so it's don't no need to worry about it for a while. But hey, here's a bucket. Mine. And there's a sparkly right here, but we can't do anything with it right now. And why are you looking at me? You're looking at me. Stop looking at me. Stupid chitty. Dude. But over at the store, it requires a crest to open and it's freezing out here. There's no way I would survive escaping into the woods. Have you tried? I mean we could try. I mean if we could just pack a little bit of stuff, you know. Try to make it into a, like a camping experience. But anyway, pick up a branch off of this branch and investigate this Our X. Love can never die. Well, it can if I don't love you. And did I just hear some wolves? X marks the spot? Huh? Uh, we'll be investigating that later, but can't do anything for right now. But here's some tombs. Edmund, a man of science, forever in his garden. His aim was true. Rest in peace. His vision lives on. And this gives you a little hint about the mantle puzzle. Well, unfortunately, we don't have all the urns, so we can't really do anything with that. Well, on the right hand side, if you go to this mirror right here, there's a thermometer. And we want it. We want it. And now we're going to use a bucket on the well. Seems to make sense. And we have a bucket of ice water. Now let's go inside the cottage, where we will find a book! Excellent. Head on over and we get on the right hand side and we get the uh, another search area. Fishing lure. Let's see... Oh, I... Know where it is, there it is. Bay leaf. Right there. Close iron. Uh, right there. Bottle opener.
Bottle opener. Come on down. Right there. Turnip. Turnip. Turn it. Turn it. Alright, I can't see it right now, so let's hold on. Hold off. Uh, close pin. Oh, I know where that is. Oh, oh, right there, right there. I see it. Screwdriver. Right over there. Chickpeas. Right there. Watering can. Mm. Watering can. Watering can. Oh, watering can. Right there in the light. We got the honey dipper, which is right here. Conductor's cap. <laughs> A conductor's cap in our cottage. Hmm. I didn't think that was it. Right there. And where's the turnip? Not right there. Excellent. I think I felt a loose tile in the conservatory. Maybe I could pry it up with this. And indeed, we can. Use a screw on the tile. You get the earthworm, and do not forget to, to get the tile. It's very important. But look, this activated for us. And so we shall go through it. Cork. White spider, which is right there. And gardening shears. Treble clef, which is right up there. Yeah, speaking of treble clef, I'm surprised there's like not more of music related stuff in this. Well, later throughout other puzzles, it, it there's a lot more music related, but I'm just surprised for the searching ones, there's not more music related ones for that. Oh. This game and makers can do whatever they want with it. I won't judge. Scarecrow. Cobra! Lily pad is right over there. We did need to use the mirror, which is nice because it's still restoring. Perhaps after watering the plant, it'll need pruning. And she is referring to this plant right here. So let's dump some water right there and prune it. And get some leaves. Now, we have acquired two books, and there are two spaces missing. And let's put them in. And now we need to put these in the correct order. And the Don Juan gives you a hint of what you're supposed to look for. Remember this, and how it's uh, circled? It means March 25th, 1896. Uh, and since we happen to have the exact same numbers as the ones in that date, Let's put them in order. And make sure you start with zero first, because zero, three, then 25th, and blah, 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 blah. Kind of annoying when you think about it, but mm, I get why. Oh, wrong one. Then we get 1896. Now we open these. We get a second bottle, and we get some liquid stuff. And a little haunting music that goes, Wah! Pretty much indicates that you are correct. Okay. And so here we, here we are in the cottage. And you can read a book and tell you the ingredients, but I'm not gonna bother. So first things first, you put angel spirits in. Put a twig. Put an earthworm. Put the thermometer. And finally, you put in the star anus buds. And the point is, you need to keep them away because they need to, um, uh, dissolve. But if they stay close, they won't dissolve. And when it means red, it means they're too close, so you gotta separate them till they're green and happy. So finally, I believe they are now done. And we can take the empty bottles and fill them up. Of course, as per usual, the music indicates that is the case. But that'll be it for today's video. And I think I'll just stop it right here. It seems like a decent ending point. Got it quite a bit of done. Not too much. Uh, next time in the next episode, we will handle these bottle of absinthe and put them in their proper place. I am trying to finish my outro. You know, trying to say goodbye to this video. 
Do you mind, I don't know, shutting the fuck up? God. This phantom, he's so freaking rude. Seriously. So next time, we'll head over the bottles of absinthe and a bunch of other puzzles. But, in the meantime, I am Terror the Fox, you are the viewer, and I hope to see you next time.